So, anyway, look at our, our puha is starting to go to flower, look. See that? All our puha here. Looks like nobody's come and grabbed it. Look at that, see? There's still some delicious puha there. Oh, man. Whew. Ooh, got a bit of current there, look, rubber. Got a bit of current today. So, good morning, everybody. That's it. Good morning. Another day of white baiting. This has been... I've been here for ages, probably over a week. We just had heaps of rain, and the tides haven't been right. So... Uh, but today... Tides are pretty good, but it's just the weather. The weather's not going to be good. It's supposed to be some showers today and be a bit wet. So, ooh, that's lower than I thought. So, uh, we'll see how we go today. We've got three hours of incoming tide left, so hopefully. Hey, Rubber. Hopefully, we can last till then. I've got my umbrella, so if it rains I can put my umbrella up. And I've also got a couple of tarps, so it should be alright. As long as it doesn't, it doesn't rain too much. A couple of tarps, also bought my flutter board. Use it as a chair. This is my kneeling pad for my garden and stuff. And this is actually a great little chair when it's wet, like today. So here we are, look at the day today. It's a bit grey. It's a bit grey out here. We had a bit of rain last night, so we might have a good day this morning. It's 2.1 metre tides as well, which is good. It's what you want, big tides. Hopefully get a bit of current happening and get us some white bait. marker there. I'm just going to set up my uh, white bait net guys and then we can get back to you. Set up my tent. Oh, tent. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Heaps of rain last week. A lot of rain. Very heavy rain. It's just starting to clear up now. You know I'm putting it in the water man. There's white bait in there. I can sort of smell them. Right. Looking down there. I think my, I think my bank's giving way here. Look. Starting to crack my bank. Look, oh no. The heavy rain we had the other day. Look at that. That's no good. We don't want our bank to go away. We don't know what paid spot. Let's get into my the muddy spot down the end there. Right, here we are. Here goes our first drop off our net into the water. Let's see how we get on today. A nice bit of, little bit of current there, look. Beautiful. There we go. I'm just going to put the marker up as well. We'll put the marker out, see what's going on down there. Right, so there we are. We're all set up. Look at that muddy mud. It's going to be a muddy day here today. It's normally pretty good here. Because of that rain, it's just really buggered things up. Hopefully it's going to make the white baiting good. This morning, that rain, a bit of fresh in the water. It can't be a bit of fresh. A little bit of current happening there, see? A little bit of current. Incoming tide, but three hours to go, so... Look, that little shoal went in? That was fast. That was fast. Anyway, we're going to save battery and oh, there goes a shoal going in now. You guys can't see it, but still going in on a bit of an angle. Still going in. Oh, nice shoal going in. Nice shoal in close, in close. Well, that was quick. Battery and oh, there goes a shoal going in now. You guys can't see it, but still going in on a bit of an angle. Still going in. Oh, nice shoal going in. Nice shoal in close, in close. Well, that was quick. 
There's some big ones there too, I reckon. You guys see that? We didn't see it. They've been in the water for like two minutes. There we go, look. Got a few, got a few to throw out though. There's a few big ones in there, look. But it's the first shoal. We've only been in there for about a, a minute. It's alright, been here for a minute, but gotta chuck some of those out my friends. Some are a bit big hook. Got a few little ones in there, so uh, a few shoal, nice. Okay. Good to fight another day. Keep an eye on that marker. Rubber likes those too, those ones. She likes the old white beat. Hey Rubber. Right. Back to you guys soon. So what we've got to do, throw these big ones out. You can continue the journey up the river. And just got a shoulder of big ones, look. Big buggers, we can smell them too. Look at those guys, look, big buggers there. So we'll let those go, we don't want those. You can smell them. I don't want to eat, I still eat them, but it's not on the old target today. Right, so we had some copper nice shoals there, but the water's so dirty. Get some, Gary? Oh yeah. That's my neighbour, you would have seen him in our previous video. When I was about to leave White Bait and I went in to see him and he pulled in a couple of nice shoals. Rubber's over there. Hey, rubber. So yes, so there hasn't been much white bait caught here. Put the owls in. You're gonna put the owls in up here to catch the white boat. So we got a bit of current, which is nice. It's not gonna rain, which I thought it was gonna do. It's the sun's out, so but it's really hard to see the marker. But we've got enough for a feed anyway today. We probably got another two hours of incoming tide. Let's have a look in here. There you go. Now for a bit of a feed in there. Check those big ones out. What rubber we eat those, eh rubber? She likes white bait. Here we are. So we do have a bit of current there, look. Nice bit of current. We've got 2.1 meter tides today, and it is the 28th of September. I should actually say the dates in my video so I know what's going on when I'm editing, you guys know as well. Sorry, it is the 29th of September, half past eight. And I'm going to put on the old APG gas stove. Good morning, Rubber. Good morning, everyone. How this going? She wants a stick. You're going to find a stick. I'm surprised Adrian's not here today. He came yesterday, but I saw him leave early. As you can see, that water is so still. So we are shooting this video here in wide today. The last couple of videos have been super wide. We are in wide and 4K. GoPro 7. Right, come on, shoals. It's been quiet, but the current... Oh, there's big fish going there, look. Can I see them? 
Gonna be picking my nip. I'm heading out. Haven't seen any of those for a while. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a cup of coffee. Big tides. You can almost bring my scoop net down, sort of. These big tides be good for that. Uh, the APG gas stove. Hey brother. Yeah, it's warm today. Definitely spring is in the air. Oh, Gary's got some milk. Oh yeah. Quite a few. Big buggers are around. Bit of a bugger those ones. It's no good there, is it? It's not really level. There we go. Coffee time. A couple of cappuccinos here. This is actually quite nice. Cappuccino strong. I was going to try that out. If you like coffee. Pretty handy for places like this. Okay, easy as just like that. So yes, good morning everybody, good morning. It's probably about quarter to nine now. Is it? I've got no idea. Some ripples in the water. Oh, it is too, quarter to nine. So, yep, cheers everyone. And uh, welcome to this video. Hopefully we get a bit of a catch today for you guys. Be nice, wouldn't it? There's rubber there. Can you get a stick? A stick. It's a stick. Can you get a stick? Saying, get the camera out of my face and go and find a stick. Oh, the current's pretty strong. The current is really strong today. Hopefully, we get a good uh, some runs coming in. With that current to be awesome. Check that out. It's got a lot of big ones. Look. Big buggers. We don't want those. Get heaps of current, but I have seen not much come over at all in the last probably hour or so. Been terrible here today. 
so we're not quite full tide yet. Another probably 40 minutes before high tide. So we might as well stay till that and then we'll stay for a bit of the outgoing and we'll see what happens. But yeah, good current, but there's just nothing coming over. The water's pretty calm. I'm watching uh, Gary up there. He's like bringing in shoals of big ones too. Yeah. Might be a big shoal day. Might have to like, give it a break till next month. Give it another couple of weeks or another week. Our first little shoal in ages. Well, it's pretty, not much, but it was a good shoal for today. Grabber, you're right, had enough. It's just gone past full tide and I've had enough. Another hour to go, at least an hour. We'll do an hour outgoing tide, see what goes on. See what happens, rubber. sorry. Right, everyone. Rubber's over there. We've got the old umbrella up. Just trying to get a bit of a breeze now, so I think we might get in some rain soon. Right about. And then, show. It's about two minutes after my last show, which I didn't film. But that would be the shot of the day. And definitely the shot of the day. There you go. Definitely is the shot of the day, this one. It's not much, but at least we've got a little white bait. No big buggers in here. Oh, a little white bait. Maybe going to start to rain now. Rubber's over there. We've got the old umbrella up. Oh, what's going on there? Just trying to get a bit of a breeze now, so I think we might get in some rain soon. Rubber. Been a bit slow here today, the old white baiting. Probably wouldn't have more than probably 100 grams. Probably might have might have 200 grams there, maybe. Look, maybe 200 grams, and that's it. You know, white bait eater over there. Yeah, there we go. she likes white bait. She eats the old inanga. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so uh, that's it. That's all we got today. So I might, uh, oh, so tide's going now, we might stay maybe another, maybe 20 minutes or half an hour or so. But yeah, I think we get some rain. Definitely, I thought we would get some good shoals today. But I knew we were due for some big ones, so. Uh, end of September so we'll see how October goes we've got another four weeks of white baiting so as long as we sort of like don't get too much rain and stuff like that we might be all right but hope we get some spring tides next uh, month get some big tides so I might uh, I'll get back to you guys if I catch anything big I don't think I will though so we'll might catch you up. Oh. So we might catch you up with the uh, when I get to weigh it, weigh my today's catch, but it's not looking very good. The last white bait here we got 600 grams before that rain came, and then it's just been crap. So just going to save some uh, more SD card for. Uh, maybe a good catch or something like that okay this is a bit of a slow day it's a bit of a slow day so i might have to put this video here with some other video okay so we'll catch you guys later get you back at the weigh-in
Here comes the rain. We are pretty dry here, my gear's all dry. I'm going to slowly pick it up. So, there is our catch today. We have got 210 grams. Here we go, there's our catch today. I thought I would have got a bit more than that, but it's a hard work. Hard day at the office today, my friends. Hard day at the office. 200 grams. Heck. But it's tea tonight anyway. A couple of fritters there for Erin and myself. There it is. That is the mound of Puha. The mound of Puha. Right, here it is. That is the mound of Puha there. We have come here to attack it. Oh, look straight ahead. We just come across it. Look at that. Probably enough here to fill up one bag. Five or six puha plants to fill up one bag. Look at that. It's a good stuff. It's just starting to flower, you see. So I had to come here and, and pick it, otherwise, it's going to go to waste. So you can see. There's a bit there. I've got a couple of bags. There's a nice piece in here. Oh, rubber, right? Heat some grass. Good girl. See, it's all just starting to flower. It's quite warm. It's nearly the end of September. And we had our first boil up here on the 1st of September. So all these puha plants have been growing see look at that beautiful teal teal that one see so all these plants have been grown in the spring oh that one's quite sharp that one will probably hurt somebody's fingers so we're going to try and grab as much as we can i'm taking it back to a friend of mine he doesn't know yet but there's certainly some lovely teal teal and then this stuff here will make Look at that, it makes a beautiful boil up. Look at that, it's so sweet. Makes a great boil up. And also, make a perfect toroi. If you want to make your puha toroi, your teal teal of this stuff here will make it taste delicious. See, so we're going to pick some of this. Got two bags. We've got this whole bank here just full of teal teal. This one's starting to shoot up scenes wants to flower so hey rubber we gotta pick some and over there we have the dirty river heaps of rain heaps of rain last two or three days good morning beautiful spring day here today it's so warm it's so warm so yes we're here to pick a couple of bags of puha we're gonna have a bag for our boil up and i'm gonna take a bag around to a mate of mine who lives just around the corner here I was going to message him, but I won't, I'll just drop a bag off for him. So yes, we've come here in between the showers. Been a lot of rain the last couple of days. This river here is filthy as. Look at that. You can tell we had a lot of water, that pond's filled up quite a bit, see? But no one white baiting today, around here. Well, up tomorrow night so we'll start here i've only got two bags in the last bag we had got from here now that filled us up that fed the family for four days so i'm going to show you some of that video now some of our second and third day boil up and i dropped off a nice container to my father so i'm going to show you that video now while we set up the tripod and get ready for picking Enjoy this little boil up video. Second and third day boil up. You don't know how much. 
don't you mean to me, baby? I can't put it in words You don't know how much you give to me, baby You keep making me learn, yeah plants here will be about a bit. Check that out. Oh, that's a lovely big piece. Delicious puha we have here. What did I eat? Oh, no, another one there as well. Look. Out the, check out the size of that puha. Look at that. That's a nice piece of puha, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, boy. Let's chuck all the dead leaves off. Just pull all the dead leaves off. Look at that. Two, two lovely teal teal. Crispy ears. It's got a taste of delicious in a boil up. So nice. And another piece right next door to it as well. Oh. Another nice piece of puha. And one over there. Look. So if you know where I am, please come and grab some. You can hear that as I break off these dead leaves. We'll just, just cut that dirt off there. There we are. 
couple more dead leaves. See, check that out. That is almost one bag of puha. Check that out. We haven't even made a dent in this puha patch here. Haven't made a dent. Half a bag in just one little area like that. So this stuff here selling the in the markets. Whoa. You know, I could sell that, but I'm not going to. And sell puha. See, half a bag, three pieces. Look at that, just time to flower. On top of the soil, and you'll feel, you'll feel it when you cut through it, whether you've got the dirt or not. Here we go. So dead leaves off. Another nice piece right there. There we go, so it's probably maybe a bag full. Off. A few little slugs on there. Yep. There, another nice one here. Nice one there. Nice one here. That's going to be look at that one. That one is going to be delicious. So we'll try and get in here. We're trying to film it. Get down the bottom there. Hopefully, I've got it. Yeah, got it I think. Here it comes. Oh, did I get it all though? I think I got it. Ready? Oh, it's got a big tree. It's a bit hard when I'm trying to film it. Camera in one hand. Let's cut that off. Hey, a few more dead leaves there. It can be a bit more fussier if you've got a lot like this. You can just go around until you find the best, best pieces. Here we go. And See, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not getting prickles in my hands. These are not. These ones won't hurt you. Yeah, another nice piece. Oh, check that out. Whoa. Look at that piece. Erin loves it. Meisha likes it. Hey Rubber, you like Puha. Neve likes it. Neve grew up on it. She grew up on boil ups. I think her first food that she really had was uh, would have been Kamo Kamo that I grew in the garden. She loves Kamo Kamo. Alright. So that's the last. Look at that, this is from this area here. I grabbed all this. Alright, I'm gonna get down the bottom. Ooh, it's like a tree. Put a chainsaw. Oh, I've got to cut it. Oh, bugger, it's too thick around the base. I got it though, I got it. Get ready. Check that out for a puha plant. Look at that. Oh.
Egg. That's almost enough for one bag. grown in Celtical basically all the cows that have been here over the years just fertilizing the ground and the big grader come and pushed all this dirt on here to one side so there'll be all heaps good nutrients in here but that is one piece of puha one piece of puha picked from my organic garden here at the riverbank one piece of puha has that crunch that's what you want organic food spray free this stuff that'll fit in one bag little teal teal another <coughs> piece here grab that It's us out of here. Catch you guys a bit later on. Right, right, right let's go. Here we go, look. There's the river. The tide's coming in. Look. Is the tide coming in or is it still going out? Not sure. So you never know, you see you might get some here. You might get some runs here, you know, you don't know. Haven't got time to put the net down today. I'll go home and check the tides out and we'll see what's going on tomorrow. I oh, know, it won't be tomorrow. That's why we're not white baiting. Bloody rain's come again. You get a few nice days and then boof, heavy rain comes, buggers everything up for ages. Good gear. It should be aware. It's pretty muddy down here. It was really muddy. The other day I was here, duck feet. No swimming today, girl. Water's too paru. No swimming today. Too paru. So we might even try this spot, look. There's our delicious puha there for our second puha board up from our spot. Lovely big fat puha there, look at that. So you're going to do, you're just going to clean it up, break it up, get ready for our pot. So over here I've got a couple of four pork chops in here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, what are you going to call them? I'm not going to seal. I'm not going to sear these pork chops. I'm just going to, in the pot, half frozen, Garlic, horopito, bay leaves, some peppercorns. I break it into little handfuls like that. I didn't show you guys that in the last video, but I'm gonna do my puha. Nice little bite sizes. See, break it like that with your hand. Ow, ow, a bit prickly, but be right. So nap, and then break into little handfuls like that, see? So much easier when you pick it up with a fork. You could use a knife, but the ends are way easier. There's a nice piece there. You just snap the end off and just break it up. That sort of size like that. 
easier to clean and easier to eat as well. See, two little handfuls there. Bit of a tip for you for you guys when to clean your puha, get ready for the pot. You could put it in a hole like that. Would of course I leave it like that, but puha I always break it up to little pieces. See. So there's our pile of puha there, it's all been broken into pieces. Now we're just going to put it back in here, clean it up, and it's ready for the pot. That's how you do it. See these little off cuts over here. All our ends. You still can eat that if you want to. But we've got so much here that we're just going to keep this important part here, all the greenery, see. And that's all ready for the pot. Quick clean up, make sure there's no hidden slugs in there and snails. And then into the pot. Do with my puha, I like to I like to clean it like that, you clean it, so you can drain the water a few times, and I give it a bit of a rub, see just a little slight rub like that, not much at all. You don't want to rub it, rub it too much, just a little slight rub. Put all you need. Delicious puha there, all nicely cut up, cleaned. It's all clean and ready to go into the pot. That's how easy it is to clean puha, ready for the boil up. As long as you pick it in a quite a clean area, if it's like a, if it's a sand dunes or somewhere, you know, you're going to have a lot more grit in there and sand, so you're going to be a bit more thorough in your cleaning, but we have picked it today. We were quite lucky because it's all that rain and it's quite green there. There's no, there's no dust or anything like that. There's no uh, like cars, traffic, dogs, dogs, we on it. It's just pure puha. Right, back to you guys soon. Next boil up, looking very nice there. Check out that henu on those pork chops sitting there, cracking away in the in the boil up there. Yeah, I see you henu. I see you over there watching me. This extra bit of pork there. Ooh, we put that there. That's how I have my board up, it's just like that. So you're missing one thing, maybe some pumpkin, and maybe some sausages, that's all it's missing. But everything else is there. Got the fat, got the meat, got the puma and the puma. Right you guys, check this place here out. This is my white bait spot. Oh. There's that white bait spot way over there behind that mound there. Shut up. Our white bait spot is where that mound is there, just behind there, is our is where the river is normally. But check that out.
Oh, all your boats are for sale. Wow, look at that. For sale. End of the era. Yeah. For sale, for sale. For sale. Yeah, White Island boats for sale. <laughs> 